I don't think she would have lived. You see all the dogs out there and they're skinny and they get distemper, they get sick. Her having no one else, no other dogs or anything, I don't think she would have made it. They found her in the middle of nowhere. The captain said the next day that if no one was going to take her home, that they were going to have to get rid of her. It's kind of like an escape, really. It took my mind off of being gone. Can I open it? You got like scissors? <laughs> no. I just want her out. Can you see? Come here, girl. Come here. Come here, Daisy. Hey. She's just, she's happiness. That's the best way I could describe her. I was hugging her, she was licking me, her little tail was wagging, and then uh, she decided to go for a little run through the airport. Daisy, you know? Come here, girl. Hey, Daisy. Daisy, you know? Hey, hey, hey. I never would have thought, like, when I left for Syria, you're only gonna bring a dog back. You're grown so big. It was really important for me to get her back here because she. She was with me, I, I guess no better way to put it would be in the worst time of my life. You never know what could happen. So you, you have that little bit of edge, you're on that little edge. To have some something, an animal like that, is just, it makes a huge difference. If she was able to do that for me while I was out there, I wanted to make sure I could repay her by giving her a, a life that she deserved, where she would be loved. and. She would never have to worry about where she's going to get the food or if she's going to be cold or warm. I really wanted to, to have her back here to give her a life. <laughs>